On this record, you'll be able to listen to four yoga exercises which will help you to tone up different parts of your body. Your instructor is Richard Hittleman, whose television series Yoga for Health has brought the benefits of yoga to millions of people. Try these exercises regularly and you will quickly feel the benefit. On their own, the exercises are helpful to you, but it is of course preferable that you should learn more about the yoga way of life for permanent fitness, weight control and mental relaxation. Now, for the first exercise, sit down and stretch your legs straight out in front of you, keeping them together. We are now going to stretch away tensions as well as firm and strengthen the entire back and both legs with our rejuvenating leg stretches. Slowly and gracefully raise your arms before you to shoulder level. Do that now. Raise your arms with your hands together. Slowly bend backward at the waist so that your arms and hands are pointed upward. Keep your hands together. Now perform a slow motion dive bending way forward from the waist and take hold of the furthermost part of your legs that you can hold without strain. This may be your knees, calves, ankles or feet. It does not matter how far forward you can reach. You are never to strain in yoga. Now, take a firm hold on your legs with your hands and let your elbows come outward and pull your trunk down gently as far as you can. Draw your forehead down toward your knees. Hold your extreme position absolutely still now for the following count of 15, 2, 3. Relax in this position for there is to be no strain, simply a stretch. 10. The backs of your knees must be on the floor. 14, 15. All right, fine. Now, very slowly straighten up. Very slowly straighten up. And as you do so, bring your arms up with your hands together just as before. Slowly, now lean backward, and this time go back as far as you can so that your abdominal muscles are brought into play. This will greatly strengthen them. Now, come way up, and once again dive way over and down, very slowly, and see if you can come forward an inch or two further. Now, once again, hold the furthermost part of your legs you can reach without strain. And now, pull down gently. Draw your forehead toward your knees. Let your elbows bend outward. And this time, we'll hold for 20 seconds. Two, three, absolutely no motion. Six, and no strain. Nine, backs of the knees on the floor. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, your neck completely limp. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Now, slowly straighten up, very slowly, take your time, and this time simply rest your hands on your knees. Relax. Keep your spine erect. It is the slow motion movement and the hold in the extreme positions that is unique with yoga and gives us tremendous benefits. With this type of movement, only a few repetitions are necessary, and that is why 20 minutes of yoga is worth hours of ordinary exercise. For the second exercise, beginners should sit comfortably in a cross-legged position. Next, let's do this simple and highly effective movements that will help remove all tightness, stiffness, and tensions from your neck. Clasp your hands and place them on the back of your head, just above your neck. Now, very slowly and gently, Press down and bring your chin close to the top of your chest. If possible, have the chin actually touch the chest, but do not strain. Now, hold your extreme position absolutely still for the following count of 20. Two, three, four. Continue to press down gently with your hands, but do not force or strain. 11, 12, 13. Your eyelids are lowered and you are relaxing. 16. 17, 18, 19, good. Now, unclasp your hands, but keep them in approximately the same position. Raise your head slowly. Very slowly turn your head to the left, do that now, and rest your chin securely in your left palm. The right hand will now fit onto the back of your head. 
Now, keeping a firm grip on the head with both hands, gently turn your head to the left. Move very slowly and carefully, and go around only as far as you can without strain. Stop at your extreme position. Keep your eyelids lowered. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe normally. Six, seven, eight. It should feel very good to stretch away the tensions which everyone accumulates daily in the neck. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Now, keep your eyelids lowered and very slowly begin to turn your head to your right. The hands need hardly move. Just rest your chin securely now in your right hand. Place the left hand on the back of your head. And now, use your hands to slowly and gently turn your head as far to the right as possible without strain. Stop at your extreme position. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Eyelids lowered. Breathe normally. Eleven, twelve. Keep your body absolutely relaxed. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fine. We are now going to perform two standing postures. We are going to do first the side bend exercise for reducing and firming in the waist and thighs. Stand with your legs approximately two feet apart. And now, slowly raise your arms from your sides, palms facing down, until your arms are at shoulder level. Now, slowly begin to bend to your left. Bring your left arm down. Now to attain the complete position, touch some part of your left leg and your right arm will automatically come up. Your fingers should be pointing straight upward. If you cannot bend this far, simply go as far as possible. Now allow your neck to go limp and hold your position absolutely still for the following count of 20. Two, three, neck limp. Six, seven, eight. Feel the pull and stretch in the right side of your waist. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. No motion. Twenty. Now, very slowly straighten up until you are standing erect once again with your arms extended, just as you began. Now, let us bend in exactly the same movements to your right side. Ready? Begin to bend to the right and go down slowly as far as you can. The ultimate position would be to have your right hand touch your right knee or calf and your left arm straight overhead. Let your neck go limp and hold your extreme position, whatever it is. Two, three, no motion. Six, seven, eight, this time Feel the pull and stretch in the left side of your waist. Fifteen, sixteen, left arm way over, nineteen, twenty. All right, slowly straighten to the upright position. Take your time doing that. And now slowly lower your arms to your sides. Everything very slowly in yoga. Now. Bring your feet together, stand still, and relax. Now for a complete backward and forward stretch for loosening your entire spine and relieving tensions, we will do the chest expansion posture. Standing erect in a good posture with your heels close together, abdomen drawn in, and your chest naturally expanded slowly bring your arms up from your sides and as they come up bend your elbows and bring your hands in so that your thumbs touch your chest the fingers are together now slowly stretch your arms straight out before you do that slowly stretch them straight out and now bring your arms slowly back on a level with your shoulders continue to bring your arms back as far as possible 
but keep your trunk erect and don't bend or slump forward. Now, clasp your hands behind your back and straighten out your arms behind you as far as you can without strain, but do not bend forward. Now, very slowly and carefully, begin to bend backward at your waist. Drop your head slightly backward. Keep your eyes open and feel the stretch and expansion throughout the abdomen, chest, bust, and neck, but do not strain. Now, slowly straighten up, very slowly, and begin to bend forward at the waist and bring your clasped hands up and over your back as you bend forward and down as far as you can go. Keep your knees straight. Now, when you have come forward and down as far as possible without strain, allow your neck to go limp so that the blood will flow into your head. Remain in this position for the following count of 20. Two, three, four, neck limp. Seven, eight, remain absolutely still with your clasped hands up over your back as high as possible, and each day you will be able to bend forward a little further. 19, 20. Now, very slowly start to straighten up. Take your time. Your hands are still clasped. You come up very slowly. And now, when you're standing erect, once again, unclasp your hands. Let them relax at your sides. Good. When you've mastered these exercises, you'll want to develop your yoga techniques further. This can be done by following Richard Hittleman's book, Yoga for Health, or his long playing record albums. Let yoga keep you fit and well, the natural way. Yeah.